Well, I remember a time when T20 cricket first started that everyone kept saying, oh my gosh, this is going to be the death of the spin bowler. But lo and behold, here we are, and spin bowling is one of the most integral parts of a T20 lineup. So I thought I'd ask the queen of spin in Pakistan, Son Amir, to give me a basic 101 in how on earth we spin bowl. I mean, walk me through it. There's, is, there's so many different parts that go into it, but first and foremost, grip. How do I hold the ball? Absolutely. I think grip is the most important part, but you, you have to grip the ball the way it works for you. So generally for an off spinner, for example, most off spinners bowl it, uh, grip it with two fingers. But I used to grip it with three fingers because we used to play with bigger balls than, than generally they were for women's cricket. So for me, it was very simple. The more revolutions I can have on the ball, that's my grip. So that would be the first thing that through, through the grip that you can have the most revolutions that should be your grip um, uh, and yes yeah that would be about the grip okay so so that's the grip but when it comes to approaching the crease when I'm delivering the ball what are the main takeaways that I should be remembering for that? Yeah, so after the grip, if once you have sorted out the grip, what's extremely important is your non-bowling arm. A lot of times, people just focus on the bowling arm. Yes, that's extremely important. But the non-bowling arm has to be really strong and you might have to be static here for a little millisecond. And when you do that, then comes the pivot. Pivot is when you spin on your foot and then the drive through. So all of us, all of it like together would look something like this. Oh, I'm yeah, loving that. Good, I'm loving that knee good. cock. I am pretty wearing heels. Good. It's not easy, but so you kind of, woo. Yeah, all right. I, I need to hold that mic for you <laughs> to have the non-bowling arm no, I won't embarrass myself any longer. But obviously variations are so important in T20 cricket. Anything the spinners can do to try and bamboozle batters that are coming at them from ball one. Why they're so important? And then let's run through a couple of your faves. Absolutely. I think because the pitches have become so flat, you need to have those variations. And sometimes when there's no spin on the pitch, we saw Shoaib Malik doing it really well. So when you you have your arm really close to your air on like almost 12 o'clock, Clock, that's where you can give a bit more flight and then you have more revolutions on the ball but if you want to really dart the ball in you want to take all that flight away then you can bring it from a more slingy action like Malinga more of a Yorker action for a spinner so we saw Shoaib Malik doing that really well on this ground and he just gave away 10 runs in two overs so even as a spinner when all the spinners were struggling he was able to do that we saw Imad Wasim and Nawaz they have a that different uh, action also and then there's a, another grip with the saucerer thing. So you, you twist your wrist and you let the ball face you, the, the ball face the sky. And that's when it goes like this and then it will have a different uh, bounce altogether. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely fascinating, isn't it? Well, Tana, thank you so much for your incredible insight. I've got a lot to practice, so I've got to let you guys get back on with things and I'm going to keep having a practice with the Queen, Sanamia.